That's what it is. Forgetting about us all over again. You're all my lost boys. I'll never forget you. Never. I want you to take care of everyone who's smaller than you. Okay. And who do I look after? Never bugs. Little ones. Thank you for believing. All right, folks. Uh, that is from the movie Hook. Uh, 1991, when Captain Hook uh, kidnaps his children, an adult Peter Pan, of course, uh, played by uh, Robin Williams, needs to uh, return to Neverland and reclaim his youthful spirit in order to challenge his old enemy. Joining us now is the man who uh, produced that uh, with Robin Williams, Gerald Mullen, Academy Award-winning producer of Schindler's List. Hello, Jerry. Good morning, sir. How are you? I am fine. Um, when, uh, tell us where you were when you found out and, and, and what went through your mind. I was sitting in my, uh, in my home here in Montana uh, when I heard the news. It was a little bit of a, a shocker, hard to even imagine. And uh, like all things like that, when you get news, you wait for confirmation. And uh, it's, a, it's a deeply troubling and, and saddened time, I think, for anyone who knew and was ever around Robin. What was it like for you to be around him back in 91? And I'm sure you had dealings with him after that, although I'll, I'll ask you if you did. Uh, were his, I mean, obviously his problems were deep inside, but uh, being around him uh, on a daily basis for the making of that movie and, and maybe at other times, were, were you able to tell that, that you know, the facade was the facade and there was uh, uh, more going on inside that wasn't so happy? No, I never noticed it. In, in fact, I didn't go into it looking for it it was uh robin was always on i think that's been said by many many people but robin just had this way with with people it didn't matter if it was in the makeup chair or uh, on the set in front of camera uh you know sometimes they they wouldn't complete a take because he would uh, ad lib and they'd have to go and, sh and shoot it again uh just the way robin was he was uh, full of life and he wanted to extend i think uh, you know, his meaning of life, which was all fun, laughter, and trying to bring people to that, uh, that, you know, feeling good for themselves and being happy. It was like he was committed to do that. He was so much more than a comedian, so I don't mean to diminish him by asking this, but why do we see so many funny men, uh, comedians, who, who overdose, who take their own lives, who have these uh, abuse problems? What, what, is, there, is there a reason for that, you think? You know, I'm not a psychiatrist, so I can't really answer the question. All I know is that I have been around, you know, other people the same way. I've got depression in my own family, and uh, and, and you know, I, I see that, but I can't, I can't measure, nor should I even try right. to measure that against Robin. Robin was a one of a kind, and uh, the fact that those who were real close to him around him, who understood, you know, his fits of depression, or or uh, and whether it was caused by you know, outside uh, uh, influence or not, or or problems he had within his own uh, sphere of influence. You know, I don't know. I all I, what I remember about him and and what I care to remember about him, was the the the, the moments of laughter, of kindness. He was he was just a phenomenal human being, a rare human being. And I I feel terrible that he he had to suffer with these uh, inner demons. It it's. Somehow it's just not fair. Jerry, was he a, a genius? You know, I heard uh, Henry Winkler say that from the day he walked on the Mork and Mindy set, he knew that all he had to do was keep a straight face, shut up, and let, let this man go. Absolutely. I think from the producer, uh, Marshall, when they started the Mark, Mork and Mindy show, I think I've heard him talk about the fact that uh, they, they thought about or did add another camera just to pick up these uh, uh, moments in time that would have been missed forever. Yeah. All right, uh, Jerry, uh, uh, sorry for your loss. Uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, always great to talk to you. Sorry it's under these circumstances this time. That's all right. Thank you so much for calling. My pleasure. Uh, Jerry okay. Mullen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Academy Award winning producer of Schindler's List and uh, produced Hook uh, with Robin Williams. And, uh, you know, again, that's why I didn't want to. Uh, Robin's scope was so wide, I didn't want to diminish him by just calling him a, a funny man or a comedian. 
Uh, we'll be back with uh, the communications director of the RNC after the break, but first, your max. Here's some food for thought. Studies show that nutrition affects brain development and function as people age. So what brain-boosting foods should you be adding to your shopping cart? I think that avocado is a great one to incorporate in because it's high in monounsaturated fats and it can help actually increase blood flow to the brain. I think that blueberries are very helpful as well. There's been lots of studies on blueberries. They have been known to reduce oxidative stress and they can help reduce possibly Alzheimer's disease. And then lastly, I would say omega-3 fats found in fatty fish. Um, those also have been shown that they can possibly help prevent dementia, memory loss, and Alzheimer's disease. If you're considering taking a multivitamin and a mineral complex supplement to help make a few of the essentials, talk with a local dietitian to see what works best for you.